The shock of a father, his hands clutching his head in horror, staring at the burning vehicle his daughter was driving. The man is Alexander Dugin, an ultra-conservative philosopher whose imperialist ideas helped shape nationalist attitudes in Russia, especially around the conflict in Ukraine. His 29-year-old daughter, Daria, killed by what investigators say was an explosive device planted underneath the car on the driver's side. Father and daughter returning to Moscow from a patriotic festival where he'd reportedly only decided to take a separate car at the last minute. This was most likely an assassination attempt on him, with speculation swirling as to who's responsible. On one level, you'd think that the Ukrainians have the most reason to dislike and despise Dugin, who exactly has been a cheerleader for, the, for the, this war, and frankly wanted it to happen beforehand. But on the other hand, I mean, this is no small feat to be able to actually mount an assassination operation in the heart of, of Russia, which is, after all, you know, a, a security state and then to exfiltrate whoever was involved, in other words, get them out of the country without there being any traces. It's hard to see that they would have thought that if they were gonna target one person in Moscow, that Dugin would be the man they, they would go for. Very much her father's daughter, Daria Dugina, had recently returned from a trip to Mariupol, more grist for the ultra-nationalist positions that she shared with her father and promoted on state TV. In Kyiv, an exhibition of burnt-out Russian tanks and military vehicles as Ukraine readies itself for Independence Day. The government has denied any involvement in Daria Dugina's death, an advisor to the president saying, we are not a criminal state like Russia or a terrorist one at that. Russia's investigative committee has opened a murder inquiry into a crime scene more typical of 1990s Russia than the veneer of stability that Vladimir Putin has taken such pains to promote. Diana Magne, Sky News, Moscow.